Hi, Bill Hensaw here again, another one of my uh, current events videos on YouTube. And this is in response to a question I got from a listener about cases I talk about named uh, Crow Dog, uh, Ex parte Crow Dog, and Snow versus United States. Crow Dog is 109 US 556, Snow is 85 US 317. And in these decisions, the 90 parts, aka the US Supreme Court, ruled that a district court and a federal territory has a dual jurisdiction. The first being a uh, territorial legislative tribunal, you know, to judge territorial laws and this, that, and the other. And the second is the concurrent jurisdiction of an Article Three Federal Circuit Court, a judicial court exercising the judicial power of the United States. And once we get into a court like that, the game is over. Because <clears throat> among other things, every law on the books, whether it's feds, quote unquote states, whatever, every one of them uh, is a bill of attainder. The taking of life, liberty, or property without judicial process. And there's a very good reason why the 90 parts haven't made a serious ruling on that issue in 150 years. Last case is Cummings v. Missouri, I believe, 4 Wall 277. And that is because a ruling like that puts every current government agency out of business. There are no judicial courts anywhere in sight. And there's supposed to be one in every county and every state that had been admitted into this union. And that's why that issue is the crown jewel of the unopposed issues that I advocate. Because there are no such courts. And then again, in states, you would have federal district courts and they would also have circuit court jurisdiction. The difference here being a judicial court, you can go in and present challenges to the uh, laws that you're charged with in the first instance to judicial officers that have authority, not only authority to make rulings on issues and they're almost always unopposed. So if we're unopposed, who wins? I mean, can you imagine a government dumbass attorney goes in there and brings some charges and papers against us and we don't make any opposition? How do you think the back row bastard is going to rule? The same thing here when we are unopposed. And if that fails, we have the ultimate safeguard, the right to trial by jury according to the course of the common law. That right is nowhere in sight today unless you know what it is I know and what I teach. And that is this, with Crow Dog and Snow saying that you have that right in federal territories, and yet it's nowhere in sight in what fraudulently purport to be states admitted into this union. Where in the world is the judicial process mandated by Article 1, Section 9 or 10 of the Constitution, as the case may be? And where is the right to trial by jury with the jury that can rule on the facts and the law. That's what they can't have because it doesn't matter even if they had a quorum to do business, racial representation, Republican form of government, and a lot more things that are required to have that don't exist in the de facto national socialist government. We can beat them at the jury level because they have to have the approval of the jury. If they won't enforce the laws, guess what? They're off the books. And that's the power of the jury that they don't want you to know that you have. And they sure as hell didn't teach me 50 years ago in school, ninth grade civics, 10th grade U.S. history, you name it. But go out and get yourself some books. You can probably get them both digitally these days. Uh, one is called Essays on Trial by Jury by Lysander Spooner, written in 1850. And the other is, is written by my friend, and I'm proud to say friend, Godfrey D. Lehman, called The Ordeal of Edward Bushel, B-U-S-H-E-L-L, -L, a story about the most famous trial in the history of English courts up until that time, which is in the early 17th century, about William Penn, who got thrown in jail and tried on charges of holding a church, you know, in, in the open air in the streets because the king's guards came by and closed his church down. Now, how familiar does that sound today with all this COVID BS pandemic? And we're going to have it happen again, too, and I'll be ready for it when it does. Trust me. But the point is this. 
you know, if an inhabitant of a territory has a right to a trial by jury according to the course of the common law, and that's the key to all the other rights secured by the Constitution, but it's nowhere in sight in what fraudulently purport to be states admitted into this union. Where exactly is it that you would choose to live? Whoa, think about that. I mean, who knows, we may have a wholesale migration to territories there based on this video because the rights are available there. And here we have states supposedly, but we don't have them and that's the the crown jewel of all my unopposed issues, no states. And I've got the California Supreme Court conceding it in writing, if you know what it is you're reading. And they did this, by the way, by a deputy clerk of court who, quote unquote, denied my petition for a non statutory federal writ of habeas corpus. That's astounding. But if the justices would have done this on the record, their asses would all be sitting out there in San Quentin, either convicted of treason or awaiting trial on treason. And those of you who don't know what the penalty for treason is, 2,000 volts. <clears throat> and I would personally love to be there to pull a switch if it ever came to that. So much trouble and how much fraud and deceit these people are causing, knowingly or not, doesn't matter. That's the way I do things, setting unopposed records in the trial court. We now have the bastards when we get around to filing a petition for redress to having them completely unable to answer. And in effect, we have an evidentiary case of strict liability, treasonous violations of rights secured by the Constitution. For more information on all of this, send me an email, uninquired at gmail.com. I'll get the information to you, answer questions, this, that, and the other. It's astounding once you know the truth but you never got anywhere close to it in the mandatory public education system, and neither did I. That's how it's set up, planned ignorance. And think about this, even if we have the right to trial by jury, which we don't, now I know parts haven't said anything about felonies yet, but they've implied that the state could do away with trial by jury in felony cases too. Even if you get there, and all you have is a jury pool composed of motor voters, which is typically what they are. And if you get licenses like that, what you said in effect is you owe your birthright citizenship to the non-existent 14th War Amendment. And you haven't been taught a damn thing in school either. You're gonna have no way to know what the law really is unless yours truly or somebody else comes in there loaded with almost 600 jury instructions, which the jury is never gonna see because the black robe bastard a purportedly neutral magistrate, C. Toomey, T U M E Y B, Ohio, 273 U.S. 510, is going to deny all of them at the stroke of a pen and without any request from the local dumbass who should be the one opposing them, not the magistrate. They're never going to get there. So, how can we tell a jury, even if we happen to get in front of what looks like a jury, our side of the case and what the law really is? As we start doing that and we start getting cases thrown out left and right and walking free, that puts them out of business. And that's exactly what I'm in the business of doing and can teach you how to do. Send me an email, court at gmail.com. I'll send you information on what I have. You're absolutely going to love it. That said, remember to like my videos, subscribe, tell your friends, get the word out. The sooner we start doing this, and across the board, as I've been saying, Americans, Asians, and Africans, and cut out all this divide and conquer crap they've been doing for at least 150 years, the quicker we get our government back and get these bastards off our back. Thank you.